I think the biggest challenge for me personally will be managing the various roles that I have to fill, both as team leader, as speaker, as skill leader, while still trying to maintain my own sanity. Video self-modeling is a therapy technique or a physical training technique where the person watches themselves doing the exact behavior they want. So for example, in uh, learning volleyball skills or basketball skills, they could be video recorded while they're doing the layup or something like that. And if it's absolutely accurate, they use that to watch themselves so that they can then notice what they're doing and then do those things when they do the next layup. Uh, so they learn from themselves. My stutter is very situational. So I often find there are moments where I'm very fluent and there isn't a challenge, but then I'll get tired or stressed or I'll be in a situation where there's lots of people or I'll be required to read. I really struggle to read out loud in front of people off a script. And so when I put in those types of places and those situations, that's when my stutter really becomes uh, very difficult. I, uh, I'm a pastor at a church and so that job requires me to speak very often in front of a lot of people. And so for someone who has uh, speech issues, uh, that's a large challenge. Last fall I decided there were a few areas in my life that I wanted to work on and I wanted to continue to see change and growth. So I called iStar and got an assessment here and began my therapy here. Filming the video actually was quite easy because it was a topic that I was passionate about and it was a topic that I really enjoy. Uh, so I found that very easy. It was also with someone who I was very comfortable with. Um, so I found that actually easier than I thought it would have been. I could be a bit more engaging, but um, I thought it was, uh, yeah, I was actually, I like that side of it. I like the smoothness of it, that I didn't stutter. That was really kind of actually interesting to hear myself not stutter. Because mm -hmm. so often when I hear myself, there's stuttering thrown in there. When we watch ourselves doing something that we like, we like seeing ourselves do something as in speaking fluently in a conversation or speaking fluently while you're talking to an audience or speaking fluently while you're on the phone or in a situation like this when you're being interviewed. Um, it's so powerful to see yourself doing the things that you want to do. My time here at iStar and as well the video self-modeling will make a big difference in my personal life in that in conversations with friends, uh, sitting around a campfire or just out having fun together, I can communicate my thoughts in a clear way. Whereas before often it was a struggle um, and so I just remained silent on things that I was passionate about but now I'm able to actually engage um, which is something that I really enjoy. At this point, my speech isn't perfect. Um, there's still many times that I stutter, um, but I've become okay with it and realizing it's a part of my experience, um, but I've learned to manage it much better. Instead of feeling isolated and pressured again to change, it was rather they accepted it and it was a part of who I was, but they also wanted to help me through it. Uh, so I really appreciated that about iStar. And even that journey of beginning to accept that I stuttered and that was okay. Thank you.